All right, let's talk about carbohydrates a little bit. They get a lot of hate in the modern diet and health industry, but they really are potentially very good for you. Carbohydrates are not responsible. People are irresponsible. <laughs> but, all right, let's talk. So what they are is they're our body's primary source of energy and the only fuel our brain uses. So they are very important. They can make you feel better. The fiber, vitamins, minerals consumed with them are also very important for health. There's just kind of a few things you can do to ensure it's more healthy. Number one, you want to eat food kind of like nature made it. The more man does to a food, <laughs> the more it gets screwed up, but the faster it's produced and the longer shelf life it has. <laughs> Being great for profits, not so great for health. So anytime you see things like whole grains, etc., that's going to be better for you. That means that we haven't taken and beaten off all the healthy aspects to it, the germ, the fiber, etc. So you want that. When you're looking at something like bread, try to get at least three grams of fiber per slice. Fiber in carbs is so important for you for a whole slew of reasons. Fiber will help you with digestive health, i.e. poop, important, <laughs> prevents colon cancer, but also it feeds your microbiome. That is that mass network of microorganisms inside your gut that contributes to things like your mood, immune function, and all these other things we're still kind of yet discovering. So, how do you eat carbohydrates responsibly? Well, what you're gonna do is just kind of try to limit the amount of sugar you're getting while getting a lot of fiber in what you're eating, and then look for a variety of sources. If you are gluten-free, you absolutely wanna avoid gluten, but statistically speaking, that's about 0.5 to 1% of the population, which means Boulder, Colorado, Portland, Oregon, and West Los Angeles are not all gluten intolerant, <laughs> just by the stats, it cannot be. So if you're not gluten, in, uh, if you don't have celiac disease, uh, gluten's fine. Um, so just eat whole good sources. Try to avoid the highly processed stuff. Anytime you're opening a box to get to a package to get to your food, it's probably being pretty processed. Uh, look for labels like organic. That really does matter today as far as the quality of food you're getting. I know it's got a little bit of a cost point, but it is a lot better for you. And then just eat a reasonable amount. You want to use carbohydrates as part of a balanced diet. So you want to get protein, carbohydrates, good fats, lots of fruits and vegetables in all your meals. And then you just kind of adjust your carb amount based on your fitness goals. Are you trying to gain weight or lose weight? Based on your basic metabolism, or in a sense, are you naturally kind of lean, naturally kind of heavy, and your activity level. Are you currently training for a marathon? You can probably get away with eating three times more carbs than normal. Um, are you in a big work stretch where you're not really moving around that much? Probably cut your carbs back a little bit. I know that doesn't seem really clear, but <laughs> life's lived in shades of gray. Point is, eat carbohydrates, eat good sources, a lot of fiber, get minerals, vitamins, all the fruits and vegetables you want, literally, and then just kind of listen to your body, pay attention, and they don't gotta be your enemy. <laughs> enjoy your food, enjoy your life.